Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, so once again from the loveliness of my living room. Uh, I tried a new camera angle in my last video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, trying a new camera angle in my car. But to be honest, um, I've got bad feedback about it. And also this darn thing, autofocusing uh, like, a, like a mofo. Uh, Driving is probably not going to be the best, um, the best way to record anymore unless I start using my old phone again, oh, which I probably could do. Um, vape related, uh, let's start off with anything new that I want to take a look at. And you know what? There really isn't. Uh, the, the only thing that's really, really caught my eye is is the Bogan is uh, released or releasing um, the stack section for his tube mech which is pretty awesome uh, no, no no complaints with his um, his mech and his dripper but the, I can't remember the last time I, I used a tube uh, tube mech I mean probably the last time times i've used a tube mech is literally for building and reworking it's just uh i've got a uh 26 650 tube mech which is nice and bulky as you can imagine from a 26 650 and i use that to build and work on um obviously i don't use it to actually fire a, fire the the coils when i'm building on them but for the physical building, we are, do need to give uh, the cores a tug every now and again. And for uh, and just a stable platform where I'm not accidentally going to hit a fire button for the actual uh, wicking of it, it serves the purpose. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm just setting up uh, two devices to use for the rest of the weekend. What I've been using today, my RSQ uh, regulated squonker with uh, the wasp on top. Got cinnamon gelato in this bad boy. Awesome juice, but death to, to cotton. Seriously, death to cotton. That's the last of it. Um, I'm battling to get any more, so I don't think I'll even bother. I mean, it's, it's an awesome juice, absolutely amazing juice, but... Let's see. Can't see it too well. But yeah, I've had darker. But you can see the how dark the cotton is. And, and this was literally juiced up at about nine o'clock this morning. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Nine o'clock this morning I juiced up and the and the wicks are already looking like that. What the star what? What's the time now? See so I don't tell to injury. It is uh, 10 past 2, so 5 hours, 5 hours. I'm going to have to rework probably twice before the uh, squamp bottle runs out, but damn if it's a good juice. Um, otherwise, just working up uh, some devices for today. And now I've got juice everywhere. But it's okay. I thought I'd go for something. I don't usually carry around much um, my dot mod uh, mechanical squonker. And on top, yes, it's not high end, but I've got the dead rabbit, the 25, 24, 25 mil dead rabbit, which I found with the with the very very simple round wire build is damn awesome for um personally for um for fruity fruity stuff uh weather is really really weird it was, the sun was out this morning as well um oh and in the in my dot mod i am running oh, i'll get the bottle now yeah Sorry about all this. There you 
got to the max. Uh, strawberry kiwi. Yum, yum, yum. Very sweet, very fruity, very awesome. And then what I'm sorting now, I am going to be running Tiger's Milk on my Asmodus Luna Mechanical semi-regulated mechanical scrum car and the dead rabbit sq yes i'm on a dead rabbit binge today the only issue i have uh, i've had with this mod um you can complain i did i did pick it up second hand um it was it was a a return um uh, to to vendor uh, mod. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, was a return to vendor mod, and so yes, it 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 was second hand, but um, I found out why it was uh, it was returned. Uh, it's because the two scrunk bottles that this thing actually come with leak. Yeah, I'm not joking. Leak and leak badly. So I changed the squonk bottle out for an Arctic Dolphin. So that was the main main issue initially with um, with this mod. Uh, the squonk bottle leaks. Um, the second issue now, I don't remember if I had this issue with the original squonk bottles, but I've changed the squonk bottle out to an Arctic Dolphin. And the only issue is taking the bottle out. Okay, which you kind of have to pinch and pull. Now, if you have juice in here, obviously you're going to get juice everywhere. Issue one. Issue two is every now and, now and again, because I do tend to clean my rods pretty well. The, um, the tube sometimes gets stuck on the rod, and it's sometimes it just it already got a yank on it. I do tend to vape on these things until there is no juice left. And... So I do have an empty, uh, empty squonk bottle at the end of the day, but that's a couple of issues. Otherwise, I mean, I love the look of this thing. The stab wood is awesome. Side fire button, you can argue, oh, side fire button, but you do get used to it. Um, and it's, it, it is more comfortable in my right hand, thumb, thumb fire, but I, I can quite easily grab it like so and give it a push uh, let me grab a battery for my uh don mod and a towel just hold on ah uh, yeah sorry back uh. oh nice and clean has to be clean. Has to be clean. So, uh, I keep forgetting what battery, battery orientation the star thing is. So, yeah. All nice and uh, juiced up. Give it a bit of a draft fire. Uh, one other thing I really want to talk about is, um, is these iJoy uh, Majestic disposable tanks this has got me through about three and a half working days so that's um three days from eight till five uh one day from today i was using it as well a bit along along with this bad boy and uh, one day from um eight to eight to one And I am suitably impressed with the flavor and everything. Uh, and also the fact that it actually does come apart. And unfortunately, I don't have the coil with me. I, I buggered it up doing something. The mesh coil, you could possibly use in something else. Um, take it out. It ohms out at about 0.17. Stick it in a dripper. Stick it in a um, um, RTA. If you work it right, it shouldn't leak. Um, and mesh coil, damn decent flavor, so absolutely no complaints there. Oh, 
Looks a bit weird when I do that, but our rings are stiff. And that's on. Yep, how's that for awesome? I'm getting out of uh, picture here. So, yeah, I am suitably impressed with them and the versatility of when they do go um, pop. Uh, you can utilize the mesh coil in, in, in some way afterwards. I was trying it out in a couple of drippers uh, I have lying around to see what it's going to work best in. And uh, since I was playing with it and not actually installing it and using it, I kinked the, the mesh, uh, my own stupidity. But, you know, I don't care. When this one goes, I got another mesh coil, and my last one, which I still have not even utilized yet, I bought. I've bought three, and I've gone through one and that one. So, a decent life expectancy, and also a decent price, purely also because they are cheaper than most stock coil replacements. Ah, so, so nice. Yum. So, I think I am going to leave it there. Uh, and I do apologize again. I need to really think about stuff to talk about on these videos before I actually start them. Today was the last minute. Yeah, I'm going to do this video before I go out. So, I think until next time. Keep it cloudy.